Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Study IQ. Today we are presenting to you the important news of the last week, from which questions can be asked in the examinations. Before moving on, I would like to tell you that you can join my Telegram channel for all the updates of Akashvani videos. Let's start the series of news. Lokpal. Recently, a shocking thing came to the fore in the reply of RTI. In fact, an RTI reply has revealed that in the last three years since the Lokpal was constituted, no public servant who has been accused of corruption has been prosecuted. In view of this news, it is important for us to know about the institution of Lokpal. Lokpal is the first institution of its kind in independent India. It has been constituted under the Lokpal and Lok Yuktas Act 2013. Its function is to investigate allegations of corruption against public functionaries falling within the purview of this act. Significantly, India is a signatory to the United Nations Convention Against Corruption. By enacting this law, India has complied with the convention. The Lokpal consists of a chairman and eight members. It consists of four judicial members and four non-judicial members. The first chairman of Lokpal is Justice Pinaki Chandra Ghosh. The Lokpal has a power of search and seizure as well as powers under the Civil Procedure Code to conduct a preliminary inquiry, attachment of property and other steps to eradicate corruption. Now the next news. The Climate Pledge 95 new signatories including Tech Mahindra have signed the Climate Pledge. The Climate Pledge aims to achieve the Paris Agreement 10 years in advance. Also to achieve net zero carbon by 2040. The Climate Pledge was co-founded in the year 2019 by Amazon and Global Optimism. In this, an attempt has been made to convert the climate crisis into climate action. Let us tell you that for the first time in history, the Paris Agreement unites countries around the world on an agreement to deal with the climate change. It is a legally binding international environmental agreement to combat climate change. It was implemented on November 4, 2016. Its aim is to limit global warming to below 2 degrees Celsius specifically limiting it to 1.5 degrees Celsius over pre-industrial times. Limiting the emission of greenhouse gases through human activities to the extent that it can be absorbed naturally by trees, soil and oceans. Apart from this, the agreement talks about rich countries helping poor countries to adopt renewable energy means through climate finance. Coming on to the next news. Sample Registration System Statistical Report 2019 The Office of the Registrar General and Census Commissioner has released the SRS Statistical Report 2019. We'll look at its important figures. The crude birth rate at the national level is 19.7. It has seen a decline of 0.3 points as compared to 2018. Bihar has the highest crude birth rate of 25.8. The lowest crude birth rate is in Kerala at 13.5. The IMR, that is infant mortality rate, has been recorded at 30 at the national level in 2019. The highest IMR has been recorded in Madhya Pradesh at 46 and the lowest in Kerala. In 2019, the TFR, that is total fertility rate at the national level, was recorded at 2.1. The highest TFR has been recorded in Bihar at 3.1. In the year 2019, the crude death rate at the national level has been recorded at 6. The highest crude death rate has been recorded in Chhattisgarh. This is the time for our next news. Let's get started. Green Triangle Madagascar inaugurated a Green Triangle. It is named after Mahatma Gandhi. It was inaugurated in Madagascar's capital, Antanana River, by Indian Ambassador Abhay Kumar and Mayor of the city. Significantly, Madagascar is home to a diaspora of people belonging to Gujarat. Mahatma Gandhi belonged to Porbandar in Gujarat. 
the inauguration of green space in his name is completely justified. On this occasion, the Indian ambassador also mentioned Mahatma Gandhi's famous quote, Earth provides enough to satisfy every man's need, but not to every man's greed. This green space is based on the philosophy of Mahatma Gandhi, which includes reducing consumerism, respecting nature and aiming for sustainable development. Let's move on to the last piece of news. Joseph Baptista March 17 is the birth anniversary of Joseph Baptista. He was born on March 17, 1864 in Masgaon, Bombay. He was a Bombay East Indian politician during the British period. He was given the title of Kaka. He was the first president of the Home Rule League started by Bal Gangadhar Tilak. However, the original plan of the Home Rule League was made by Annie Besant. But in April 1916, Bal Gangadhar Tilak started it in Pune. Five months later, Annie Besant founded her own league in September 1916, where Tilak's Home Rule League had jurisdictions over Karnataka, Maharashtra except Bombay, Central Provinces and Birar. Whereas the rest of India was in the working area of Annie Besant. Now you have to answer a question here. Whether the members of the Servants of India Society, founded by Gopal Krishna Gokhale, were allowed to enter the league or not? Write your answers in the comment sections below. So friends, this was it for today. We'll see you tomorrow with a new Akashwani video. Thank you for watching.